my shoe. And then I put my shoe back on when I didn't see it. And she's like, oh my god, she hit my finger. On my shoe. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't do that. I didn't do that. So what's everybody's initial thoughts? It was really Hard. big. Yeah. Hard. Grandma vibes. River house vibes. Yeah. It has a desk. I like that. Didn't expect it. Um, the beds are huge. Yeah, they are. Yeah, well, we got, so this is the double king. So two king size beds, extra room in here, the jacuzzi tub, and the private balcony that's really private. Not like one of those that's kind of has like a flimsy wall in between it and that you can see around it. Oh, he's been getting me on film. We just got done running, okay? Like I'm practicing, I'm living in workout clothes right now, so. <laughs> but man, you can hardly beat this. It's also separated, like there's a vinyl. That's what I was, yeah. That's kind of what I was just saying a second ago about the private balconies. Four chairs. Yeah, yeah. I love the mountain view. Oh man, but here, check this out, come over here. Look what's over here. That'd be cute at night. And I like that it's like perfect placed because this is normally where we would stop walking towards like Gatlinburg Trailway and go back up turn around you know oh, yeah. on the strip but also it's close enough where you could like wake up in the morning go do the trail the Gatlinburg Trail down there yeah so that um they're doing a complete renovation of this place so take that in mind when you see all the stuff and I'm gonna uh spice in some footage from some of the newer rooms right here so you guys can check that out right I'm starting to get everything in it but that's that's what the Oh my gosh, I really like that. Wall. Some of the bigger, the, some of the walls are bigger than that one. We're in the, the but, uh, 245 up there. It's one of the the, the double kings. Yeah. They're going to do those too? Is it the whole yeah. thing? Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. So here's the thing on that. Yeah, yeah. some okay. of them stretch it out a lot bigger. That's nice. But, uh, so, yeah, it's going to be really nice. I really like the Great Smoky Mountains Park sign uh, wallpaper. So cool. But pet yeah. Friendly. It is pet friendly as well. So, it's just pay an additional charge for that. But man, you can hardly beat this view. I mean, obviously you got a big old wall here. Uh, you know, that is one thing, but man, okay. check out the mountains. If you haven't seen our park vista, hopefully you will because it's amazing. Hotel review, it wasn't in our top five Gatlinburg hotels, but it is the girls' top, top yeah, hotel. They, they, yeah, that's they number one. Yeah. I will say everything in this room is big besides this television. It's pretty small. It's got the Bob approved double sink, sink it, in the bathroom. But it does not the have the Bob approved. Oh, you already knew that. USB stuff. It's so, all, yeah. He's so bougie. He would never stay here. He's a Hilton guy. Yeah. I'm going to make sure you don't steal their, steal their alarm clock. Yeah. Which one of y'all is out here stealing 1980s alarm clocks? That's what I want to know. In my grandma's recipe index thing, we found the Toll House cookie chocolate one. Chocolate white chocolate chip. Yeah, I think they call it Donald's. So these are made from scratch. Made from scratch. Keegan made them. 
How many will we have in the morning? We'll show you. <laughs> no, we probably won't. <laughs> this is my dad's reflection. What's your favorite one? Whoa, you just told that? You're just kidding, me, right? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, he's almost there. So we paid $124 for this room here. Just check with Riverhouse at the park. Their rates are comparable right now, right about the same. Um, I will say that this place is really big. It's probably one of the biggest hotel rooms we've been in with the exception of the Riverhouse. Um, now, cleanliness is another topic altogether, but I will say that they're undergoing a huge renovation right now. So this will be much different than um, next year than what it is right now. Uh, but with that said, we're going to go check out the pool. Are you relaxed? Yeah. Or are you drowning? <laughs> oh, are you drowning? <laughs> 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 brought this simple one. Eric's the guy that blows them up and he's got a cold. It's our lineup today. The girls love these diving toys. We got them from Target. We also like to pass these like throw and jump type situation. These came from actually the track arcade and they are diving toys and they work really well. Got this at Myrtle Beach and he is a wave rider. Ready to show how he rides the wave? We got the wave. Make the wave. <laughs> so sad. Yeah. Okay. That's concerning. It was just where someone had shaved. And it didn't get wiped off. There's also a lot of ants in here we've been finding. Like everywhere you look, there's more and more ants. I've also seen this. I was trying to relax and take a bath, but like all of this going on made it impossible. I kind of just wanted to get out as soon as I could. It kind of gave me the creeps. I think there used to be a light over here because it looks different than these drop ceiling tiles. And when you're taking a shower, you're basically taking a shower in the dark because of that. There's no light. I did want to check the mattress just because, I don't know. So that just came off the bedding. Could be hair, it might be a string. I'm hoping there's a protective plastic cover on this just because I mean I, I just don't know if I trust it so there's not it's straight mattress I feel like all hotels have a plastic covering to prevent bed bugs at this point in time this does make me quite concerned all right so it's the end of the night and despite the obvious concerns, we ended up spending the night here. Um, the girls did have a good time in the pool. We came back, did some homework, that kind of stuff. But I did want to note that here's what's left of the cookies so far. And I want to go on the record and say I've not had one of these yet. I'll show you in the morning morning. So, yeah. <laughs> um, it may change between now and then. I have been known to wake up and get a midnight snack. So. You guys hear when Eric goes to sleep, too. It's bluey. It's not his, it's not his water video. Well, time to turn it in.
don't think it's in here. Bagels, bigger oats, cornflakes, and some muffins, bananas. Maybe do some cream cheese key. You got your bagel, your muffin. It's kind of a lackluster breakfast. Mm -hmm. About at the end of our stay. I'm gonna wrap it up here in just a minute. So Y'all gotta hit the school. What'd you think about your stay? I thought it was okay. The pool's pretty nice. Uh, hotel room's a little old, but like, I think it's supposed to be like that. Yeah. Like, cool style, I guess. They're, yeah, they're about to change it all up here. So, <laughs> Jack, what'd you think? I feel like it's What would you rate it? An eight? eight. What about you? A seven. Seven. Yeah, it was. And I had the bagel. I thought it was going to be stale. What? What's that in this place? LeConte View Motor Lodge? Yep. Alright, so that was LeConte View Motor Lodge. I'm going to rate it a five. That's what I was thinking as well. Like, I'll start off with good. Location, location, location. You're right here on the strip. Uh, as you can see, the space is right in behind you. So it takes away parking, uh, you know, any any parking fees that you would have if you wouldn't stand on the strip. That's a big plus. I will say that I am willing to come back to this place once the renovations are finished and see what and see what they come up with then. I don't think it's going to matter, though, if they don't get housekeeping together. Because a lot of these aren't maintenance issues, they're housekeeping issues. Like, the things that we found are just completely unacceptable. Our kids came in after they got done with the pool and was like, oh, I can't wait to take a bath. I'm like, you're not taking a bath. Like, there's mold. Um, yeah. There's just, it's just nasty. The, I mean, it's just gross. To the point where I was like, are we going to stay here? It was like that. Yeah, um, that was a decision that we yeah and like the indoor pool the hot tub was broken and there was sand i don't know some type of something all in it so like when you're walking you step on it you're like oh so you're disgusted even in the pool yeah man it, it, it it'll be tough like they have some challenges ahead this is a great location and um it's sad that it's kind of went to the wayside here and the housekeeping and maintenance issues haven't been taken care of because this place is a it's a prime property right here on the strip in Gallenberg and if it was taken care of I mean you could charge whatever you wanted to for this spot but it's just not it's fell into some disrepair over the years it if, seems like yeah if they get the pool up and running that's a really cool thing um Keegan even said that the location is weird I think we, littler kids would like that because you're right on the strip and then I think adults could sit there while your kids are swimming and it's eight feet um yeah. that's really cool they're that's paying why for parking not, right there we're going to do this series ranking all the hotels on the Gatlinburg Strip, and I am terrified because I feel like people are hanging their hat on location, and it's looking like Big Barian over here. Don't think that you have to sacrifice quality to get a good price because go to Riverhouse. Check it out. They do update. They just keep it retro. We've seen them put in new carpets. They put in the same carpet. It's about time for us to do so, a Riverhouse video again. Oh, gosh. Take me back. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> take me back. All right. Well, thanks for watching, guys, and we'll see you next time. Bye. If you made it this far. Like if you liked it, comment if you're a fan, subscribe if you're feeling it. If not, that's okay too. Wow.